What's that you're playing? This is a Bulgarian banjo. I know what the thing is, but the tune, what is it, a new one? It is, if I ever finish it. Hey, strings. No. Look, would you pick me up a good ukulele in Honolulu? No. Oh, come on, will you? There are too many ukulele players in the world now. But I promised a good friend of mine I'd bring him one. You know I never get off the boat in Honolulu. Yeah. That's something I can't quite figure out, Sourpuss. Strings. The man a mystery. No kidding. You've been making this round trip with the ship's orchestra for about six months. You never get off at Honolulu. What's the idea? Honolulu, Waikiki Beach, bananas, pineapples, hula dancers, sunshine. I hate them. But how can you write such pretty songs about the lonely shore and the whispering palms and the moon when you ain't never seen them? That's why, because I ain't never seen them. Come here. We wasn't going anywhere, mister. What are you kids doing? Playing hide and go seek? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Here I come. Are you going to give us away? Who'd I give you to? We're stowaways. Hey, why don't you guys go? Stowaways, eh? You know what we do with stowaways on this boat? Throw them overboard to the sharks. Duck. Throw who overboard to the sharks? Ukulele players. Are you nuts? Just a trifle. Hey, string. Is any news to you? We got an orchestration to run through for tonight. Come on. Stay in hiding, little boys, and don't make any noise. I will be seeing you when the moon comes up. That lyric don't make sense, Strings. Oh, yes, it does. Well, he came to San Francisco from Honolulu with his brother, who played the guitar just like you do. Son, I got to stop you right there. You're talking to the best guitar player in the world. Someday, when you've got a couple of hours, I'll show you my medal. Well, anyhow, his brother went to Mexico with an orchestra and I pulled behind. That's when I met him. Left who behind? Who? What's that? That's him. That's his name. That's not a name. That's what they say in polite society when something is slightly odoriferous. What's your name, boy? Well, it's really Puana Makalua Makahona Kalau Okalani. I'll call you El Fideldo. How do you fellas like the boarding house? Great. Good. I'll probably get myself on a jam sneaking you gentlemen up here. I, I didn't mean... All right. Never mind. My good deed for the year. Say, you haven't told me yet how you got aboard this boat. Well, you see, he sells papers and... I shine shoes. His home's in Honolulu, and he's been wanting to go back. We're pals, and so I want to go back with him. That's why we're hitting a boat. We've been figuring on it for a long time. Just like that, huh? Yes, sir. Where are your folks? They're both dead, mister. They were killed in an airplane crash. That's tough going, son. I'm not air-minded myself. 
Better safe than sorry is my motto. You've got it wrong, mister. Well, 90 percent more people are killed in automobile accidents every year than in airplanes. Planes are the transportation of the future. And the people that go down on them are pioneers. Just like the ones that fought the Indians and settled our country. Wait a minute. What do you think you're doing, working your way through college? Where'd you get that spiel? Out of a book my father brought home. His father was a pilot. And he's going to be a pilot, too. Ain't you believe? Sure am. Well, when you are, maybe I'll fly with you. How's that? Just saw your name on the passenger list, Commander Miller. Glad to have you aboard. Thanks. May I present Captain O'Hare? Mrs. Milburn? How do you do, Captain O'Hare? Your servant, ma'am. Doris? Miss Franklin. Are you going to be stationed at the air base in Honolulu? No, I have some government business on the island of Maui, but I'll be doing a lot of flying back and forth. You'll love Maui, Mrs. Melvin. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. And we have some very good friends there, too. I go over on the slightest pretext. Sometimes when there isn't any pretext. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have time, I'd be glad to fly you over this trip. It's only a short hop. Thanks, but I like to do my hopping while there's something under me. Captain, do you own this boat? Well, not exactly, Doris. Would you like to look her over? Mm -hmm. Captain O'Hare is a great fellow, isn't he? Joan. Yes, dear? What is it? I know you'll think this is silly of me, but I'm terribly frightened. Frightened of what? Haven't you noticed how closely that man watches us? The one wearing the gray suit and the Panama hat? Why, no, dear. I haven't noticed anyone. You must be mistaken. No, I'm positive. I keep catching his glance. Oh, you mean the man who sits three deck chairs from us? You see, you have noticed. Oh, but, darling, it's only natural that any man should glance at a woman as attractive as you. John, those plans you're carrying are important, aren't they? Hmm. Important and valuable important for the new defense ideas they contain and valuable to the safety of the Hawaiian Islands, if I ever get them finished. I'll never have a moment's peace until they're delivered and we're on our way home. Now, darling, please don't worry. But you can't tell these days. That man might be employed by some foreign government. Oh, you are nervous, aren't you? I'm beginning to think that I shouldn't have brought you and Doris with me. Oh, I'd just like to see you try that sweet apology of your hand. <laughs> I think I got me kind of a tune there. Don, I think you got something there. Come on, give. Now where the trade winds blow, let us go, sweetheart mine. Sharing life's highway, and not sing divine. Down where the trade winds blow, let us go hand in hand. Dreams will come true, dear, in our local land. You'll hear native voices humming each night beneath the fallen Eden stars, and the surf booming with the strumming. Of steel guitars. Now, where the trade winds blow, let us go hand in hand. Dreams will continue in our whole life. Uh, uh, Stuart. Yes, sir. Now Who's that singing in there? Blow, I don't know, sir. It's uh, Strings, Captain. Strings, huh? Is his voice changing on him? I don't know, sir. these boys. Stowaways, huh? Come here. Oh, I know you don't. Come here, you get here. What's the trouble, Stuart? Just a couple of stowaways, sir. Come on. 
see, Captain, these kids were aboard when we pulled out and they got scared. That's enough. As long as you live in Honolulu, I'll turn you over to the authorities there. And we'll take you back with us and turn you over to the authorities in San Francisco. I'll be responsible for these boys, Captain. And who'll be responsible for you? There. Too much grass in it. It's too heavy. I thought it'd give it a nice lift. Put the harp in. Oh, Captain O'Hare. You know what I mean. Yes, sir. Nothing finer than a good old Irish song. Great. I got an ocean.
Captain. I'd like to introduce a passenger on the boat who's traveling as a guest of the captain, Mr. Billy Colder. Come on, Billy. Why, Captain, isn't that one of your little stowaways? Yes, that's him. <laughs> indeed. Sing Makushla every night, all the way back to San Francisco. That boy was trying to sing his way into your heart, in the hope that you'd let him stay in Honolulu. I didn't just fall off a Christmas tree, Miss Milton. I've got a soft spot for the little fella at that. We've got to think of the lad's future. Yes, I know, but I don't think... The captain's right, dear. it will be better for the boy to take his medicine. I guess I sound a little bit too good.
Pilots always wait here for the tug with the port officials and friends of the passengers. As soon as they come aboard, we'll go on. See anyone you know? Tug, didn't you? Yes, I did. Thought I saw you down there. That's a beautiful yacht. What is she? The Regent. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Isn't your name Regan? Yes, it is, Mr. Blake. Well, glad to see you. Don't let him jump. Gotta be somebody. Hey, somebody stop that kid. Oh, John, do you think that boy got hurt? He's all right. He's swimming. The police will pick him up. Well, I certainly hope they do. Well. <laughs> to you. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, aloha, Hina. You have home here with me and my brothers and sisters as long as you like. Gee, thanks, Hina. You aren't lying. Are you a banana? No, I tell you true. I show you where they hide. All right, come on. <laughs>
Aloha. 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 Where's Connie? Huckle? I came after Connie. Connie Nickel Diver. Sure, I know he's a nickel diver. Where is he? Boat dock today. Sure, I know that too. You see Malahini boy, a boy called Pua? Oh, Pua? Pua goes to San Francisco a long time before. All right, all right. Four days now. We're going to get Hina in trouble, Poor. <laughs> no. Hina, she's smart girl. You listen, Poor. Make big ears. You take Billy, go to Maui tonight. What's Maui? Little island. My Aunt Apina lived there. You meet me at Sampan Dock, six o'clock tonight. I go with you. Take present to Aunt Apina now. Be careful, boys. Don't be caught. Boy, Hina's a regular guy. How do you like to go to Maui? Well, but I'd sure like to say goodbye to Springs today be before that boat pulls out. You can't take chance. You're tough enough getting through town to San Ben Duck. No one knows me now. I'm sure not Hawaiian. Oh, look at this tan. Look at the hat. <laughs> Come on. Hi, Thick Lugs. What do you say? Going ashore again? Yeah, my guitar's uptown getting fixed. Gotta pick it up. You're not fooling anybody. You're looking for those two boys. But don't forget, the boat sails today. If my ears are as big as yours, I could sail any time. Trying to go through that alley. There ain't no alley. I just found that out. You'll find something else out, too. You're going to jail for 60 days, maybe. He didn't mean to. You! You boat jumper, you! Hey! Hey! I won't just get out of the way. What do you mean, get out of the way? Look at my can! I want just. All right, I'll give you justice. I'll lock you up for obstructing an office. <laughs> Everyone is good friends. Have faith. Get up, boy. You never. Get out. Don't tell you. What do 
you doing? I give you no me love me. Wait just a minute. Let's understand each other. What is this lonely, lonely? Oh, I massage. Good for you. You relax. Uh huh. I guess he has a jumping flea. It's an alien bee. Jumping flea. Come here, little lady. Here, little lady.
my best friend. He ain't got no father or mother anymore. You know, you make Lolo talk poor. This is your home, Billy. You're another cakey for entity now, just like you. <laughs> hey, El Fidelo! Who that? That's Tina, come to see you. The other string, the dog is Uki. Aloha, Hina. Aloha, string. Aloha, Uki. How are you? No, this is Maui. Oh, smart cracker, eh? Regan tells me you've worked from before. That you're all right. Very good, all right, too. But you are, you can make a lot of money. So you know number one houseboy, huh? Sure. Julius is my cousin. He'll do anything I say. Money. This beats San Francisco, huh? Where'd he go? Look, he's gone. Maybe there's a cave. Maybe it might be burial cave. What's a burial cave? Long time ago, Hawaiian kings buried in secret cave with all bones around. Gee, long time ago they find one. When I'm a little kid, they don't find one around here. Boy, I'd sure like to find a cave full of bones and stuff. Another thing. How are we gonna split money we get for this? Three ways. You, me, Julius. Okay. When we get paid. When job finished. I bring Blake here, then we get paid. You hear all that before? You Lolo, you drink too much. money before. Julius say job not ready yet. Pretty lucky for us, my cousin Julius, number one houseboy, huh? Sponzo, and I'm his brother. Come on, let's get out of here. This will be our secret cape for, but don't tell anybody. John, it's time you had some recreation. Your job's about finished. Uh, practically. Two more details to be covered. Julius, pack up Commander Milburn's things. He's worked enough for today, don't you think? Oh, I should say so. That's all he's done since we've been here. <laughs> oh, look at that view. Beautiful. Speaking of recreation, take a look at those kids down there. It's strange. Looks like the two young stowaways from the boat. Oh. By Jove, it is. 
I wonder what they can be doing on Maui. Probably evading the police. So it is. John, something should be done about that boy. He's been another one of your worries, hasn't he, dear? Well, I agree with you there. Something should be done about it. I know where I saw that boy. It was at Auntie Pino's house. Really? Well, she's the one who's giving the luau, isn't she? Yes. By the way, you haven't told me whether or not you're going. You don't want to miss that. It's the most colorful festival we have in the island. Yes. Well, Forget your problems, John. Take it in. See a little of the native life before you leave. Yes, darling. And then you'll have an opportunity to speak to that boy, too. Well, I've been thinking about that. Good. We'll go. Bye. <laughs> Some jump you took off that boat. Yes, we were afraid you'd get hurt, Billy. Oh, it didn't bother me any. You're in the air service, aren't you, Mr. Milburn? That's right. Did you go to West Point, Mr. Milburn? No, Annapolis. I'm Navy. Yeah, I guess you need lots of money to go there, don't you? No, not at all. Money has nothing to do with it. It's open to any boy of good character. Well, I was going to be a pilot when I grew up, but... Change your mind? No, sir. You see, String says I'm a public enemy. <laughs> I don't think you've done anything that can't be said right. Hey, by the way, I was talking to Captain O'Hare in Honolulu yesterday. Back again? Yeah, for a few days. We were talking about you. What? He says he has a great deal of faith in you. He told me that he wouldn't be at all surprised if you went back of your own accord. Me. Well, I'm only telling you what he said. Yeah. 
much, Lolo. Now I'm thinking. <laughs> me wrong, Billy. Mrs. Milburn and I have become very interested in you. You had it right, Mr. Milburn. What? i got to make good with Captain O'Hare. Well, that's fine. What are you going to do, Billy? I'm going to surrender. How do you expect to get to Honolulu from here, my boy? I'll get there. Come on, old timer. The folks want you to sing a ditty for them. Back to San Francisco. San Francisco? Why? Bye, Billy. There's an inter island boat leaving Lahaina for Honolulu tomorrow. Why don't you let me send you down there in my car? Thanks. As Uncle John used to say, here today and gone tomorrow. The little fellow felt pretty bad when he left this morning. I cried. He didn't. I think you're a pretty lucky kid going to San Francisco. I'd like to go myself sometime. Would you? Why for your friends don't come down and give you a loa when you take boat at Lahaina? Because I didn't want them to. We all say goodbye. Where are you going? I take this boy to Lahaina to take boat. What's your name? Julius, let me see your driver's license. Do you work for Mr. Howell? Yes, sir. What time did you leave the house? About 10 o'clock, I think. Do you know anything about those papers that were stolen from Commander Milburn? What papers? Some government papers that Commander Milburn was working on. I don't know just what they were. Gee, suppose they don't find them. Will anything happen to Mr. Milburn? Well, there's plenty. I hate to be in issues. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, come on. We're wasting time. Maybe they're hiding in a cave. No cave round Capo. Oh, yes, there is. Who me found one? No burial cave. Turn around and go back. No turn around and go back. My boss tell me to take you to La Haina. And that's where you go. Everything points to an inside job. Somebody knew everything that was going on in this house. It looks that way. Yeah. It wasn't generally known that you were working on this, was it, Mr. Milby? Well, the newspapers had given it quite a bit of publicity. Bill, anything new? Not a thing. Please take me back, Julius. I know they're in the cave. And I'll tell you why. Because when we found it, there were some men in there. And one of them was Lonzo. He's a tough guy. And I heard him say that his cousin Julius was a number one houseboy and... Julius. Julius! <laughs> House is up there. I know. I get gas first. Drive me up. Get the gas afterwards. Always pick this fellow up. Name's Julius. He says he works here. Where have you been? I take little boy Billy to Lahaina to boat. Mrs. Hollow sent me. Is that right? Yes. Julius has been with us for four years. He's absolutely trustworthy. I go to work now. All right? All right, go ahead. You're the kid who was on the boat. Who's with you outside? Nobody. Don't lie. You hear what I said? Come on, we'd better get back to the yacht. All right. Bring him along. Thank you. 
thing. Captain O'Hare, because the boat's going to leave, and I... I got a better idea than that. 